Hey folks, welcome to the channel. So in today's video, we're gonna start a new project, which is this Feather Damascus Bowie. Uh, and this one's gonna be a takedown, so uh, it'll come apart. Uh, this is gonna be my first multi-part series. In this episode, you're gonna see me um, actually creating the Damascus pattern for the feather um, and forging this into a billet I can make a blade out of. So um, hang out, see how this uh, feather Damascus, which is a really complicated pattern, come see how this is made. And in the following videos, we'll grind the blade, do the fittings, the handle and everything else. So I got the billet all welded up. I've welded the edges, uh, welded a, a piece to hold on to it. Now I'm gonna leave it in some kerosene, let it seep into the edges. It kind of helps with the forge weld. Um, so here we go. So I've got this billet um, after the, the, the restack, so it should be about 76 layers. Um, I think it's around there if my math is right. Um, it's like mm, three quarters of an inch, maybe a little more thick. Um, what I think I'm gonna do is cut this in three and then get three almost an inch wide um, pieces so in total I'll get nine pieces stack them up high um, forge weld those together and then split those for my uh, feather so it's looking pretty good the weld is perfect no issues at all with the welds so I think I'm gonna just take it to the mill 
um, and just make sure these these ends are parallel and plus I got a bit more grinding to do and I think it's just easier in the mill to do this one side uh, and then I'm going to use the bandsaw to cut the ends off divide it and um, yeah that's what we're going to do So I got all my pieces cut and stacked up. These are just stacked up here by hand. It's about four and a half inches, which is really good. That's actually higher than I thought I was gonna get. Here's the finished billet, um, ready for the forge. This has got all the pieces inside it all stacked up. I put sacrificial steel around it uh, so we get a real nice clean forge weld. Into the forge and then squishy, squishy. So I've ground off the sacrificial steel. Uh, when I first ground it off, I thought, oh crap, I didn't get a good forge weld. But really, I'm just not used to the steel being so clean and you can just really see the, the seams. But as soon as you grind into it, like here, you notice those are, those are totally gone. So um, I got a good forge weld, I'm happy about that. Um, you can see it's just a little, little curvy here so I'm gonna take it back up to forge well and then just gently press the sides all four sides just to get it nice and uh, square and true uh, to get pre uh, prepared for the split um, remember we had it at about four and a half inches now it's about uh, yeah three and three quarters so we did compress it uh, you know three quarters of an inch so um, we should have a pretty good forge well all right let's get to it All right, folks, uh, the scary part went great. Um, uh, the splitting went just fine. These are still super hot, but um, went really good. I've flattened them out in the press again. Um, I got a little, I had to do two stages on the split. I think I forgot to turn the camera on the first time. Um, I had this, this is what I use for the split. This is actually a piece of, it's still hot, uh, a piece of I-beam because I didn't have to weld it. I thought this would be great. Um, what I didn't realize is when I split it, I don't know if you can see that, it actually melted the blade. Um, so I was really surprised at that. Uh, and it got totally stuck about, you know, an inch through it and I couldn't get it out. And then the second time I just said, screw it and went all the way through really quickly. And this is the result of the second one. I had actually ground it down after the first time. Um, not sure it was actually blunt enough, um, but we'll see. I'm pretty happy with, uh, you know, how even it is. I should get, um, you know, should look, get a nice looking blade. So now just got to surface grind these and um, forge weld them back together.
Well, so much for my perfect forge welts. Um, yours truly is an idiot. <laughs> I had everything perfect. This billet was beautiful going into the forge for the final flattening out and making the, uh, flatten this out so I can put a, a blade shape on it. Uh, I got it not, I didn't get it hot enough despite people warning me. Uh, I thought, wow, I got perfect forge welds. Well, I didn't. Um, you can see this crack here, right there, started, this one here started to open up and there's another one here um, and here. Then I said, oh, I'll just, I pulled it out, fluxed it, and then I tried to upset it to close those up and then this one opened up. So, I don't know folks, I think what I'm going to have to do is grind all this down get all this out because it's not going to forge weld. Um, originally I was planning on a nine inch blade. I don't know if I'm going to have enough steel even for a seven inch blade. So, and I'm really paranoid about drawing this out now. We'll see how it goes. So I got the billet all uh, forged down, which was nerve-wracking because <laughs> there's tiny little splits in the side that you have to keep grinding down, um, but it looks good. I did make a mistake and actually started putting the Ricasso and then the Tang, but it was actually at the wrong end because you want the feather to spread this way, so that's got to be the tip. So I kind of forged it out flat. Now I've got to knock this down and press this. The one thing you want to do for a feather is you want the center of the feather to be at the tip and you want the center of the feather to be at the ricasso. So the purple line here is where the center of the feather should be and you can see this is perfect but this is off. But I figure once I push this up to make the ricasso it should move the center line up enough that uh, it's exactly where I want it. So that's the next step is just to push this, this steel up to make the Ricasso and then I can squeeze it and uh, have the rest of the tang. So let's go do that. So I finished the forging of the blade. Um, I've ground down this side and um, I've etched it just so I could see where the pattern ended up. Um, 
hopefully you can see that. The feather goes right in the middle of the ricasso. Yeah, swoops down and goes right up to the tip and I just put the profile on the knife on here so worked out perfectly uh, despite the problems that I had I've got perfect forge welds and no seams no inclusions uh, I just have some scale here to fix up but that'll come off so um, really excited about making a blade out of this so thanks for coming along uh, stay tuned for part two of the series where um, we really turn this into a blade. Thanks, folks. <laughs>